So hi everyone, now this is the third video. We're going to have a look at some of the um, ways in which we can customize the application to um, make it a little bit more desirable or um, in relation to whatever you're trying to build. So we've got our screens and if you remember from the second video we we have our home screen menu um, and we're going to click into that and we're going to open it up and you can see that in the sim this is what it looked like. Um, we can customize in the last video we customized the toolbar uh, we can do that quite effectively but for this particular video we're going to have a look at how you can change the look of particular screens um, to make them customize so we'll start by changing this little arrow here and making it um, a little bit a little bit more eye-catching so we'll click on the welcome and this brings up the the item properties for that particular menu item so we can change the row title if we had liked um, and we can change the indicator type and I really like the details indicator and we can change the way that it transitions between screens as well and we'll press save. Let's have a look at what that now looks like. You can now see that we have this blue indicator and when we click on it it flips which is quite effective. What we also want to do is we want to add some more content to this screen and I'm going to um, create one called History, um, which is the history of the pizza restaurant and it's going to use the History screen and press Add and there we go. Now if, you, if I refresh this you'll notice that that hasn't been changed or hasn't got the same um, indicator that we previously added. So we have to do the same thing for history. We're going to do that for all of our items. Um, most of them stand alone and have to be sort of customized. What do we, we call that one? We call it a flip. Press save. And now when we have a look at um, our screen, we've got the same thing going for each. Because it's good to have a bit of consistency inside of your application. Now we can customize it a little bit further. If we scroll down here and we have a look at our um, options that appear in the bottom, we can add a background image. Now I've got an image from the pizza restaurant that I've um, got online, so I'm going to copy the URL. And where it says image URL, I can paste it in. Now you've got another choice, you can put in just specifically um, the image and save it and have it available inside of your um, application. And in order to do that, you would need to make sure that is it is sitting inside of the BT Images folder. And you put in the file name of that image right here. But I like using a URL because it, it makes it a little bit um, easy to sort of change it. If you decide to change your logo, you don't have to redo the build. You just have to um, put that or replace that logo in that particular space. So I'll press, press Save and press Refresh. And you can see that the logo has gone and put itself in the middle of the screen. We can customize the place by putting in a particular in a different um, different place here and we also need to think about what it will look like on a large device so we can put in a separate logo um, for an iPad or a, a tablet because obviously they've got a bigger screen you might need the logo to be bigger so you might have a different logo um, referenced. However, it obviously makes little sense to have the logo appearing below the list of items. So let's have a look at how you can change that. If we go into uh, list, row, height, and so on, we can put in what's known as a list header. And let's, call, let's say 230 spaces. Press save. And we press refresh. And you can see that nothing has changed there. And that's because we need to change the list style. We change it to rounded corners with side margins and press save. And let's hit refresh. And you can see that now we have a list that appears underneath our image, which looks quite effective indeed. Um, the reason we can't push down a list that has square corners is that um, it's. A, doesn't look very effective when the square starts down the bottom or down here. So rounded corners are what's used in Apple or iOS apps um, for that particular purpose. 
So there we are, we've customised the, the home screen. Um, we can certainly play around with a lot of the other features in here, so changing the title height and the font size and all these other elements. Um, I might just have a look and see what, what that is. Title font size 15. Well, let's just see what that actually does. Reduces the font size here. So we can play around with all of those particular elements, but I reckon it looks better at its default. Press save. And we can also add um, a login feature so that people actually have to log in to the screen with a password, and that might be appropriate um, for your particular application. But there's lots of customization that can take place in terms of um, background colors. We can have those match your particular, um, you can put in a, you know, a, a color that represents your company or whatever it may be. You can choose to change the navigation bar for that particular screen on its own, um, and it's quite quite powerful in terms of what it can do. We might add one more row, um, just so that we can fill up that screen. History, um, we'll call this Screen Chefs, and we can have a link to some information on here about the particular chefs. Press add. It's going to add that screen and then when we hit refresh you can see that we've added our logo and the three particular items which when clicked on go to the right spaces. Like before we need to update it for all of the particular menu items so we need to change that to details indicator and what do we have? We had it as a flip. Press save and there we are. Let's go back into, press refresh, and there's some customization that is starting to happen inside of our application. In the next video, we'll take this a little bit further and we'll start to explore some of the, um, the other modules as opposed to the text um, and word modules. We'll have a look at how they can be used, how we can add a location into our specific Pizza Palace restaurant, um, and then we can have a look at how this might function um, a little bit more advanced.